And this is Ken Kreitzer, Yankee State, and I get a chance to talk to Mark Holtzman, who's the executive director of special events. Uh, not everything but baseball, Mark, I guess, but uh, we're having a chance to talk a little bit about the Army UConn football game that will be here at Yankee Stadium in November. Mark, why is it important uh, to bring Army and UConn together for football here? Well, we try to. It's important to us to showcase college football here at Yankee Stadium. It's also incumbent upon us to bring in the major football programs in the area. And obviously, Army and the Yankees have had a relationship, as I said before, going back to 1923, and a relationship where great generals, where their Heisman Trophy winners, where everyone has played here. And UConn, while we've never had them here before, I mean, they're a major Division I player in the New York metropolitan area, having won multiple men's basketball championships, multiple women's basketball championships. The football team went to the Fiesta Bowl a few years ago. So it just it goes with our whole uh, goal of bringing in the best, the best in class. It makes sense that we bring in UConn and Army to Yankee Stadium to play a football game. Okay, and of course, uh, there was a great uh, history of Army football uh, against Notre Dame here uh, th up through the 1940s, uh, some of the biggest games in college football at the time. And uh, that, that great game a couple of years ago when Army played Notre Dame here on a Saturday night before a packed house. So just a, a great day for college football. That was electric. That was what I like to call a Super Bowl atmosphere. We hadn't had college football here at Yankee Stadium for many years. It was back for the first time. It was a cool, crisp night in November. You had Army and Notre Dame both brought back all of their old greats who had played here for the coin toss. So it made for a very, very memorable evening. And like I said, Yankee Stadium hadn't hosted college football in many years. And it was, and the roar of the crowd, it was just, it was a very special evening. One I will never forget, and I've done a lot of events here. No, that was, a, that was a super evening. Now, why is it special? We talked a little bit with Boo Corrigan, Army's athletic director, about uh, why, how special it is when the Corps of Cadets comes down to, uh, to a game and, and is in the stands and does a march on. What's special about uh, uh, the Corps of Cadets coming to Yankee Stadium? Well, the Corps really makes it complete. I mean, our, our owner, George Steinbrenner, had a very close affiliation to the United States Military Academy. They, they, the cadets often perform here before, before games. And that just really made it complete because the Yankees have always been very supportive of the United States military. We've had a long history with Army. And to get the cadets down here, not only to march into Yankee Stadium, but to march on River Avenue, it just makes for a day that's really unforgettable, whether you're 80 years old or whether you're 10 years old. And sometimes the West Point Band comes down and performs at your opening day and other big days here at Yankee Stadium. Yeah, that's like, like I said, it's an ongoing relationship. The band performs here. Um, it's such a great relationship between these two institutions. And this really, what we're doing only enhances it. I mean, look, uh, it was only two spring trainings ago that the Yankee baseball team went to West Point and played a game against the cadets to follow in the tradition of when going back all the way when Mantle and DiMaggio did it and Ruth and Gehrig did it. Now our modern team did it. So it's, it's more than a football relationship. The two institutions are really family. And yeah, what a moment when Mariano R Rivera threw out the first pitch at West Point's baseball field last spring. You know, like I said, we, you know, it was only right for him to do that. He wanted to do it. And that was a very special moment. We hope to do that again. Our baseball team hopes to be up there again in the not-too-distant future. Mark, just tell us, what are, I know you have a soccer game scheduled for the summer. Uh, what are some of the other non-baseball events you have coming up this year? Well, you know, we just concluded the hockey, uh, where we had two NHL games. We have a soccer game coming up. We have a concert coming up. Romeo, who was with the band Aventura, a local, very, very big. We've bought part of a, a soccer team along with Manchester City. We, the Yankees, are part owners of the new expansion team, uh, New York City Football Club uh, in New York, which is going to start playing next year. Uh, so we're, you know, we do a lot. And then we have three football games in the fall. We have this game. We have the 105th anniversary, 150th anniversary of Lafayette Lehigh, which is already a sellout. And then we have our first new bowl game, putting the ACC against the Big Ten. So we have a lot going on, and uh, we have a few more things in the hopper. Hopefully we'll announce soon. 
Mark Holtzman, we'll look forward to opening day of the baseball season and then seeing the Army-UConn game here in November. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Ken Kreitzer for Sons of American Legion Radio at Yankee Stadium.